Based on education of video showing a patient with central cord syndrome, I'm going to ask the patient to perform a neurologic exam to check for muscle strength in the upper extremities uh, to show the focal neurologic deficit secondary to the C4, C5 spinal stenosis from hyperextension injury from fall. I'm going to ask the patient to move the upper extremities so we can show the difference between upper extremity uh, motor loss uh, compared to uh, lower extremity motor loss. Uh, I'm going to ask you to try to lift your left arm for me and just give you your best shot again. Okay. And as you can see, the patient doesn't really have any motor movement in our left arm. Try your right arm. i give you your best shot. So she has minimal motor movement in the right arm. If I touch your shoulders here, Ow. that hurts a lot. Okay, that's called allodynia. And try to lift your left leg off the bed. That's fine. Oh, that's very good. All right, what I'm going to ask you to do is push down on my hands. Press down. Very good. Pull up your toes. Very good. Try to lift your left leg, uh, right leg up off the bed. And I'm going to push on it and don't let me push them down. That's very good. So she has good muscle strength in the right lower extremity. Push against my hand and pull your toes up towards your face. Good. Now, can you feel me touch you here? Yeah. Does this feel the same on both sides? Yeah. Good. How about right over here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she's got good sensation in the lower extremities. And can you feel me touch you over here? Mm -hmm. Does it feel numb or it feels normal to you? No. Okay. And right here feels normal too? Numb. It feels numb here. It feels numb over here too? No, it starts to feel normal. Mm, that feels normal. Okay. How about right when I'm touching here? Numb. That feels numb compared to this side? A little numb. A little numb too. Okay. This still feels numb? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about this little pink here? Normal. Normal. Okay. So that shows us that the patient has bilateral upper extremity motor weakness uh, compared to the bilateral lower extremity good muscle strength. She's got allodynia symptoms in the upper extremities around the C5, which actually explains her distribution of her injury. And this is an example of central cord syndrome. This is Dr. Adishiner. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot. Are you studying for the USMLE Step 1 or Step 2? Are you studying for the NCLEX or you're currently in nursing school as a nursing student? Are you a PA student currently in school or studying for your PANS exam? Or are you a nurse practitioner student or trying to take your MP board exam? Listen, I've got super awesome content for you. If you truly love this video and it simplified your learning process, I want you to check out my website below. I've listed all the list of exams, whether you're studying for any of this board exam, and all I want you to do is click on the link right now below so that you can take you directly to my website. For USMLE, just go to smashusmle.com. For NCLEX, go to crushnclex.com. And if you're studying for the PANS exam, the nurse pr practitioner exam, or you're studying for your internal medicine board exam, just click below and take you directly to ftplectures.com. Listen, I can't wait to help you. If you need to get in touch with me, just get to my website, be able to reach me directly, and we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, you are super awesome, and my goal here is to help your dream come true. If you wanna be a doctor, wanna be a nurse practitioner, a registered nurse or physician assistant, I'm here to help you get to that next level. With your medical knowledge, let's save the world together. I love you guys. You guys are super awesome. And do not forget to click on the link below to be able to get to my website. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great day. Let's go.